Welcome back to Measure, Topic 3, Statistical Distributions. So discrete probability distribution is characterized by the probability mass function. Now it is important to be familiar with discrete distributions while dealing with discrete data. And the two most useful discrete probability distributions would be binomial and Poisson. Now these distributions help in predicting the sample behavior that can be observed within our population. So beginning with binomial distribution, this is just a probability distribution of discrete data. Some characteristics of binomial distribution begins by the fact that it describes discrete data as a result of a particular process. It's best suitable when the sample size is less than 30 and less than 10% of your population. And it's only to be used to deal with defective items. And it also predicts sample behavior. Some of the key calculations of binomial distribution begins with the term of mean. Now to calculate the mean, this is your addition of all of your data sets divided by the total number. Then we have our standard deviation, and then finally our sample factorial calculation. So remember going back to our example with the playing cards of 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, so there was 120 possible combinations, our factorial calculation would be the number 5 with an exclamation point. So let's do an example of calculating binomial distribution. So using binomial distribution, let's find the probability of getting five heads out of eight coin tosses. So to do that, we have to understand that tossing a coin only has two possible outcomes. It's either heads or tails. Now, heads and tails are independent of each other. So therefore, let's figure this out. So to begin with, we have to understand what our sample is. We're going to have, we're going to try to find five heads out of eight tosses. So using just numerical things here, we're going to draw out our eight possible tosses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So that's going to be our sample size. So the first calculation we have to figure out is our sample. So because we know that there's only two, possible, uh, two possibilities of heads or tails, we know that our sample is going to be equal to two. However, we're looking for eight possible coin tosses. So our sample is really going to be two to the eighth power. Now, each one of these particular tosses is exponential of each other. So for instance, this is two to the first power, two to the second, two to the third, two to the fourth, two to the fifth, two to the sixth, two to the seventh, and 2 to the 8th. So that's where we get our 2 to the 8th. There's 8 possible coin tosses out of only 2 possible or only two possible answers. So this is going to be what we call it's equal to our total outcomes. So now we have to look for something called our favorable outcomes. And so with that comes another little calculation. So what our favorable outcomes are going to be is we know that out of eight tosses, we need to get five heads. So the first thing is, is we have eight, and we're going to count five. So this is equal to our favorable outcomes. C-O-M-E-S. Okay. So we have our total outcomes and our favorable outcomes. We're going to count five out of eight. So now let's kind of do our calculation. So what we have to do is we have to take our favorable outcomes and divide that by our total outcomes. So in this case, it would be 8 count of 5 over uh, 2 to the 8th power. Now with a graphing calculator, what we would be able to figure out with this is this would be equal to 7 over 32. 
or you can use Minitab, or you can use Excel to figure this particular calculation out. So then 7 divided by 32 is equal to 0.21, uh, 2187, I think, is what it comes out to. Or 21.87%. So if we're going to try to get five heads out of eight possible tosses, the probability of doing that using binomial distribution would be 21.87% of the time. And that's how we do binomial distribution. Mm -hmm.